Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and I hope you've been having a lovely lovely day. I am going to give you guys a quick hiragana lesson so you're going to be able to learn hiragana very quickly because I have a little method. I'm going to put a little box here and that's going to have the hiragana consonants and vowels. So most important thing to learn is the vowels. So that is a i u e o, a i u e o. So don't worry too much right now about how to write these vowels because you can learn later and if you want me to do a video about how to write hiragana please leave a comment down below and I can do that video. So I'm joined here by my boyfriend Yoshi. <laughs> He's a bit silent. <laughs> but um, he can pronounce the Japanese vowels, consonant, hiragana a lot better than I, I can do. So I'm firstly going, I'm going to teach you very quickly and then Yoshi is going to do a bit of the pronunciation. Japanese vowels are very similar to our vowels, so they have the exact same vowels as we do. A, I, U, E, O. So you might remember when you were younger, you had to learn your vowels. A, I, U, E, O. A, I, U, E, O. I don't know if any of you guys had to do that song when you were younger. I did that song. In, in English. Yeah, we did a song in class. A, I, U, E, O. Anyway, so let me go, let me get on with it quickly. So you have A, I, U, E, O, and you're going to combine the consonants, the eight consonants that the Japanese have to make their hiragana box. You can see the consonants at the top of the screen and we're going to start combining them. So it's very easy to combine with the vowel. So for example, take K, K and A, Ka. So you have K and A, Ka. And if you combine it with the next, so A, I, so you've got I. So K and I is Ki. So if you combine with the next vowel U, you have K, and if you combine with the next vowel E, you have K, and if you can combine, combine, if you combine with the next vowel, what's the next one? O. Next vowel O, you have Ko. So that's Kakikuke Ko. Kakikuke Ko. Kakikuke Ko. And then so we're going to go on to the next one. So if you combine S and A, it's SA. Sa. You combine, this is a little different guys, so this is a little exception with the S. If you combine S and I, you get SHI. 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 See, he does it much better than me. SHI. SHI. So, SHI. So, S and I together is SHI. So you've got SA, SHI. SA, SHI. And then if you combine S and E, it's SE. Combine S and U. Su. Su. You can write S and O, so. So. so, sa, si, su, se, so. Sa, si, su, se, so. Sa, si, su, se, so. We're going to the next one. <laughs> chi. So guys, you probably are getting the hang of this. So stop the video right now. Write down, you can write it down in Roman characters on your piece of paper what you think the next kind of hiragana line is going to be for T. <laughs> okay, guys, have you done now? Have you done with tea? What did you get? Did you get Tati Tuteto? Okay, there's a slight exception here in Japanese. So you combine T and A together, you got Ta. So that's correct, you're right. But if you combine T and I together, you get Chi. That's Chi. So Ta Chi. And then what did you do for you? You probably got two, right? No, it's su. So these are the two exceptions when you combine the consonant T and the vowels. So you get ta chi su. And then you've got te and to. So you got te and to, right? I'm sure. So you got ta chi su te to. You got that, guys? So I'll do it one more time. Ta chi su te to. You're not even saying <laughs> Okay, can you say it can you say it a bit louder for people to hear? Just the T one because the T one I think is the most difficult for people to really grasp when especially when they have to go su is quite difficult. Yeah. Su, right? Su. Can you say su? Su. Su. No, it's su it sounds S. Su. Su. So it's kind of making your lips out. 
Shi. <laughs> okay, great guys. Let's go on to the next one, which is going to be N. And N is quite good because I'm sure you guys are going to get that. You can stop the video as well and drop that down. Have you finished? Okay, so it's Mani Nu Ne No. That one is very simple, very good. Mani Nu Ne No. Mani Nu Ne No. Nani Nu Ne No. Fantastic. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Janine, your host. I just realized whilst I was editing that I forgot to do ha, which is really, really important. I think we were just enjoying ourselves too much. Um, if you can stop the video now and write down what you think ha will be, that would be great. So did you do that, guys? Ha is quite simple. It's really, really similar to all the other ones, with the exception that H and you combined together usually sounds like fu. So I've put fu here in brackets. So it's going to be ha, he, fu, he, ho. So that's ha, he, fu, he, ho. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys got that correct. And yeah, I'm really sorry. I just noticed literally whilst I was editing. Oh my gosh, me and Yochi did not do the hiragana for H. I think we're just really enjoying ourselves. So yes, yeah, so that's ha, he, fu, he, ho. So just remember that fu. And you can, if you look at the actual hiragana writing for fu, it looks like F somehow. So hopefully that rule will remind you um, how to recognize that hiragana character. Okay, back to the video. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one, which is M, which is very good, like at N. So you got Mami Mu Me Mo. Mami Mu Me Mo. So stop the video any times, guys, to write this down for M. So Mami Mu Me Mo. Mami Mu Me Mo. Did you get that? So we're gonna go into Y. Combining Y wow. with the consonants. Y is really, really easy because you need to only combine it with three of the consonants. You have Ya, yeah, yeah. Yu, and Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So just remember, it's A, you need to combine it with A, so that's yeah, Y and A, yeah, Y and U, U, Y and O, Yo. So yeah, U, Yo. So you don't need, you don't, you don't, we can't, we don't have the like S and a Y combined with I and E. We don't have it. Yeah. Just exactly. three. Just three. So when nearly done, guys, stop the video now and do the last one. For R. So what did you get? Daddy Runero. Did you get that guys? You're completely correct. Well done. We did it. Daddy Runero. <laughs> guys, so you have practically learned all of your hiragana, but there are three little exceptions. These, I mean, there are other exceptions in the hiragana, which I already mentioned, but there's three extra hiragana that you need to learn that will get you tip top. And the first one is very easy, which is wa. Wa. Can you see that? I'm gonna circle it on the table. Wa. Now you wa. use wa a lot in a lot of basic things, which you probably learn when you first learn Japanese, which is watashi wa. Watashi wa. Watashi. Watashi. Now, guys, don't get this confused. The wa in front of watashi is very different from the wa they use after watashi. So, the wa they use after watashi is part of the ha. This is the little trick that you guys need to know. Even though we say it as wa, I know, I know it's confusing. Very sorry. Confusing.com, but. Yeah. But it's the same as English yeah. as well, though. <laughs> Those are sounds like a knowledge you don't ask, pronounce K. Sounds like this. <laughs> exactly. So you just need to learn those little tricks. So in different, different things like um, Wagamama. You guys might know that restaurant and wasabi, which we have in London. We have loads of wasabis in London. Anyway, so let me go on to another one. O. Oh. So O oh is a very good word to use for objects. So you can say, uh, let me have a very, very basic word. Uh, orange. This is a kind of katakana word, but we'll do katakana some other time. But it's orange. So you put O oh after the object. So orange o kabetai this. Yeah. So that means I want to eat orange. So usually use this o, and it's a special o, and it's very different from the vowel o. So don't mix those two up. But you use that o when you want to do um, when you have an object 
and you put that object, yeah. you put the O after the object, if that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, orange, O. O. Keitai, O. Which means mobile. And the last one, guys, is mm. 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 This is an N. <laughs> this is just a single N. So, can you think of any words? Can you think of any words? Guys? Ramen. 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 So, uh, udon. Udon. Uh, we use mm, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. But, dif yeah. but the difference is that in English basically you said mm, ne. It's like ne, you ne. your tongue attaching the, the this side of the, your mouth, yeah. right? Just ne. n is n. But mm. in English, uh, Japanese n is you have to say from like a this side. Mm. 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 Not necessarily your ways. Mm. 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 Ramen. 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 No, not ramen. 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 Mm. Okay guys, so let's just do a summary. Please stop this video and write down all the consonants and all the vowels that you remember. And yeah, I'm only going to do the first three because you guys can watch this whole video again if you want to get the rest. So let's start with K. Can you remember guys? Did you write it down correctly? Fantastic. I know you guys did because it's really good to remember this and you can use it. It's very easy and it's one of the first. And we're going to do the difficult one. T. Can you remember guys? What T? Ta chi. Ta chi. Te to. Ta chi. Te to. I know you guys got that. The last one that we're going to do is S. Can you guys remember the little rule for S? So stop the video now and just double check. Make sure you remember that little rule for S. So it's sa si sa si su se so so sa si su se so slash S sa si su se so and that's it, guys. You have learnt hiragana. Well done. <laughs> Please, guys, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see more content. And I hope you enjoyed this video as well. So tell, tell me what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. It was really useful. And if you felt like you learnt hiragana really well. And yeah, sayonara. Sayonara. Bye bye. Bye bye.